Hello! Welcome to the St. Charles Public Library's Virtual Foodie Family Program. My name is Miss Rita and I'm so happy to be here today and to share a recipe with you. Since we couldn't be together at the library, we decided to do things a little differently and to share our programs online. We hope you enjoy this new experience of online programming. Is everybody ready? Have you washed your hands? I already did, but if you need to, you can just hit pause. Wash your hands for at least 20 seconds and then come back. Great. Welcome back. Today's recipe is called ham and cheese pinwheels. They're very easy to make. They're great to eat for lunch or for a snack and you can make them any way you want. You don't have to use the ham. You can use turkey. You can use different cheeses. But today's ingredients are slices of ham, American cheese, a garden spinach herb tortilla, and then for our filling, this is an 8 ounce brick of cream cheese that I cut into cubes. This needs to be softened and you could do it two ways. The first way would be to put a saran wrap, a plastic on the top, let it sit for about an hour on the counter, not more than two hours. If it's more than two hours, it's not safe to eat. The other way would be to microwave it and you just want to do about 10 to 15 seconds. You just want it soft. You don't want to make soup. Okay. The other ingredients that go in the cream cheese are a quarter cup of mayonnaise, a half a teaspoon of dill, a half a teaspoon of garlic powder, and a half a teaspoon of onion powder. All right, we're going to add all these things to our cream cheese and then blend it very well. This is called a spatula. Makes it easy to take things out of containers. It scrapes it all out so you get most of it in your bowl. Then we're going to take our dill, we're going to add our garlic, and then our onion. And we're going to mix this up so that it's very well blended. Wasn't that easy? This is your filling. You want to stir it so that it's all mixed evenly. This will make two tortillas. Okay. That looks about right. We're going to take our tortilla and put it on a cutting board. We're going to take half of the filling. And I'm going to use this tool to spread it. If you wanted to use your spatula, you could do that. This just is a little bit easier for me. And you want to get this cream cheese all the way to the ends. Because what this is going to be is this is going to be like a glue that holds it together. Okay, that 
looks good. Now we're going to put our ham down the middle. It could be a little bit closer to this end. And when I start rolling, you'll understand why. Everything starts to shift. Then on top of the ham, we're going to put our slices of cheese. And if it's a little bit extra, you could just cut that off. Now we're going to start rolling. You're going to curl one end over. And you want this a nice tight curl. It doesn't have to be perfect. The important thing is how it tastes. It The first time you do this, it won't be easy. But after you do it a few times, you'll get, understand the best way to do it. Okay. And we have our ham and cheese pinwheel ready to be cut. Now, as I said, before you're going to want a grown-up to help you cut it. The other thing I wanted to tell you is what I found to make this a little bit easier is to wrap this in plastic wrap and put it in the refrigerator for a few hours or overnight. Um, it makes the tortilla a little bit softer and the flavors in the filling seem to blend together really well that way. Now we're going to take our knife and you're going to cut off the end because the end has empty spots. You're going to make one inch slices. Isn't that pretty? The other thing is if you put them in the refrigerator before you cut them, the cream cheese will get a little bit harder. And I wanted to show you, I've made a platter here. This is our ham with the American cheese pinwheel. And then over on this side is a tomato basil tortilla with some turkey and some Munster cheese. And then I also put a leaf of lettuce in there. And that'll give it a little bit of crunch. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's recipe. Check back monthly for new videos or subscribe to receive notifications of all of our programs. Thanks for joining us for Foodie Families. See you soon. Bye.